Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. Okay, so, bit of a weird start to this video, but bear with me here. I'm post-commenting this little tiny bit at the start, because it was like two minutes of me running around looking for this weird birth bar... Birth bar... Good work, brain. I'm not even going to edit that shit out. Birth bar thing here with the little dudes in it. This is actually where you buy the small resonant bell. The reason I was doing this without commentating at the time is because I was trying to figure out how to do co-op with a friend of mine on a different account. But it turns out you actually need 10 insight for this bird bar thing to appear, or at least the little dudes inside of it. So I didn't have that on my new character. And then you can actually use insight to buy more things from this guy. So as you can see, we can buy Paul Gascoigne's gear. That's kind of awesome. So I did that. I basically bought everything this dude was selling. And yeah, then you need, to, if you want to do co-op, you need to ring the small bell. And then anyone who rings the big bell, which you get given by a default, like... I think when you get one inside, you, you can pick up off the ground like next to the door. So basically, if you want to do cop, you have to ring the big bell. Then anyone who's rung the little bell is eligible. But you can't password lock it. You can't just go click on a sign and summon someone. It's the most complicated freaking summoning cop system I have ever seen in a game ever. Don't know what up with that. And yes, after all of this, couldn't even actually get it to freaking work. Because I think I was too high level. Well, there you go. So yeah, that's that's why I had to post commentate the sound a little bit of the starts. Anyway, I guess uh, I'll give you back to past me. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. Possibly for the second time if I remember to post commentate the thing at the start. If I didn't, then I'll just very quickly go over it now. If you have 10 inside, there's like a weird bird bath that appears up the top just outside the door. You can use then you can then use inside to buy more stuff. But if you fall below 10 inside, then you you can't see that shop anymore. And it's annoying because you need one insight to buy the small resonant bell to do co-op. Which means you actually need 11, well, you actually need 10 insights. Because even though it only costs one to buy the bell, you can't even see the shop without 10. So yeah, essentially, as far as I can tell, to do co-op whatsoever, you need 10 plus insights. That's kind of crazy. We didn't even really get that until we got to Old Yarnum. Speaking of Old Yarnum, I believe we finished up there last episode. We took out the boss, it was called the Blood Starved Beast. Basically, I had like a vagina for a head, and it was a vagina head. That thing was annoying as hell, but we eventually slayed it, got ourselves a whole of chalice. Don't really know what to do with them, I assume they're for the chalice dungeons, which I think are like randomly generated dungeons of some kind. But yes, I did notice, we didn't actually murder the man with the gun on the roof. I'm pretty damn sure you can, because I remember people telling me that they killed him. Maybe they're tripping balls, maybe they're talking about someone else. God, I hope not. God, this fucking load screen, man, holy shit. But yes, anyway, so we're hopefully going to go back and slay him this episode, however, before we do that, you may remember the area that had that, like, ominous looking window that I thought was a doorway I set up that was going to be a boss. It was just outside of, uh, where the old bitch was who we collected. There is a window you can drop out there. I even saw the window and I meant to come back to it, never did. There's actually some very interesting booty out there, as well as an NPC that apparently I entirely missed. So we're going to go back there, grab the booty, and speak to the NPC very quickly. And then we're going to hopefully go back to Old Yarnum and murder, you know, Machine Gun Man on the roof. That's the plan, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is the place. Now, like I mentioned, there is a window out here we can drop down. And you may remember the sword blade that we picked up? There should be a hanging body around here somewhere. In fact, he's right there. I believe this guy actually drops the sword blade. So, essentially we didn't need to buy that, we could have just got it from that guy. But you know, we didn't know about that at the time, so whatever. And we got some cold blood Oh, there's two bodies. Interesting, very interesting indeed. But yes, they basically dropped down to where those, uh... uh where the two rats were at the very bottom in the kind of pit, and there were rats along the sides of, as well. I think you need to drop down onto the sides, and that's how you get to the loot. I assume there's going to be one on each side, so... We'll go back and grab them later, not really a huge deal right now. Hello, bunny. How's it going? Oh, a hunter, are ya? A hunter, and are an ya? outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Thanks, baby. These are basically homeward boards. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Still lingering about. What's wrong? 
a hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're a little different from the beasts themselves. Damn, that's deep. And we got a shake off caper moats. I like that. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. What are you... Oh, okay, he's our dialogue. I love the fact that he's got basically like a slightly Kemp Northern accent. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Whoa, God, why do I do it every time? Son of a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, basically like the little pressure pad thingy in the middle of the PS4 controller. I know for a damn fact that I opened the emotes with that at some point. Ever since then, I've pressed the bloody thing and... Uh, by the way... <laughs> I love the animation for using the homeward bone thingies. It's just like face palms. You're like, oh god, what have I done? But yeah, I know for a damn fact the pressure plate, it's whatever the, the touchpad. Go up, brain. I know for a damn fact that I've used the touchpad before to open up the emotes. Ever since then, it's just opening up that other weird thing. I don't know what the hell up with that. Aha! Uh -huh. I found a ladder. I know you have to climb a ladder to get to this guy. I mean, it makes sense, right? He's on a freaking roof. But yeah, I mean, again, I know people have killed this guy. So... Is he up here? You would think this would not be... Oh, there's another ladder. What the hell is the point of that? <laughs> I guess it, they kind of had to do that, maybe. Otherwise, you wouldn't be quite in the right position to get up to him. I don't know. It's kind of weird level design, but whatever, I'll take it. So, uh, oh yeah, as you can see, we're covered in blood because I had to murder like 10,000 beasts along the way here. Oh, shit. Hello, buddy, you gotta talk to me? No, you're not. You gotta drop, pop. You use firebombs. Oh, you son of a... Oh, my God. What the hell? Why am I doing like... Fi Jesus! Why am I doing like 50 damage? Okay, uh, this guy seems tough as shit. I mean... Probably pretty much a guarantee... Oh, Jesus. Pretty much a guarantee, I would say, that we can parry him with a gun. Not, uh, not working so far. Also, I don't know if it's a good idea that we knock him off the roof. Don't get me wrong, if the opportunity presents itself, I'm gonna take it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to log out of the game and log back in to make his shit ring spawn up here like you can with Lore Trek or whatever in Dark Souls. I hope so. But, uh, yeah, oh, Jesus. Well, we've, like, uh, a third killed him. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, I, I mean, I guess it could be going worse. He seems extremely tough. Yes, period. Justice. Well, that did fuck all. Well, he's half dead, that's, that's something. Yeah, this dude feels like, Jesus. This guy feels, stop spamming that shit. This guy feels like Father Gascoigne on crack. Oh, God, I'm dying, okay. Has he got, like, a weird mechanical fist weapon? Oh, it's got, like, a blade on the end. That's kind of cool, I dig that. Oh, Jesus. I'm digging being the crap out of me, no! You still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. <laughs> Damn it, man. That sucked. Well, shit, give me a moment here to get back to him and we'll try it again. Alright, round two. And this time, this time you're goddamn right, it's personal. Stop spamming your freaking blunderbuss or whatever the hell it is, you absolute son of a bitch. Oh my god. I, what? I nearly did! I, am I the only one that feels like this dude is tougher than any of the bosses we fought so far? I mean, yeah, the Bloodstaff beats killed me a few times. But, it, you know, we put up a good fight. This guy's kicking the shit out of me. This guy is like... I was gonna say Havilon Crack. I kind of already made that comparison to Gascoigne. But like, in terms of like a Dark Souls boss, this really does feel like Havel. Like, Havel is tougher than most of the first bosses of the game. This guy feels tougher than the bosses we fought already. Like, holy shit, man. And he has got so much HP. Slash defense. Like, what the hell? Okay, no, 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 don't be uppercutting me or whatever the hell that is. I guess it's not really an uppercut, technically. Oh, shit. Okay, so, uh, he, he can parry me. I don't know if he can follow up with that. Probably. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is going so poorly. I'm down to four blood vials, and I've done nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. 
We're gonna have to knock him off the roof. We, we are going to have to try and... Oh my... No. He dodges so much. Oh shit. No, God. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. You know when you just know you're gonna die? Because, like, what can I possibly do? Unless I parry him? Like, well, we're out of bullets now. Oh shit. Ah, oh, shit. I... I... I, I don't... I don't... Wh what do I do? Why are you so tough? I'm out of everything. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, that's right. I haven't got a battle gun. Oh, God. I guess we could try poking him with a torch. 11 damage! What the hell? Why are you so tough? Why? I don't understand. I kind of want to try and run away, but, like, what's the point? What is the actual point? At least it looks like he can't consume my bloodstain, or at least he didn't. Oh, that's right, go off the- No! No! Why? Why are you so freaking tough? Well, shit. I'm gonna have to go and farm blood vials and bullets now. Otherwise, we stand no chance. Even with them. That was ridiculous. That's right, buddy. Just no, 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 no. I just got old shit. No. Why you think you so have <laughs> dreams? Well. Okay, next so he time, can freaking parry you. Give some thought. I'm lost for words. All right, Plan B. We're gonna try taking one of these beast blood pellets. Now we're basically freaking Popeye. I hope. Yes! Oh god, please let that kill him. Is he dead? I don't... I, oh god, we got blood echoes. He's dead! He's finally dead. Yes! That was kind of anticlimactic. I didn't even get to, you know, do the full Popeye tune. Oh, we can't use the gun. That's disappointing as shit. Okay, well anyway, give me a moment here, I'm gonna log out back in, see if his booty appears up here. If not, I'm gonna be very disappointed. But we'll see. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my god. And we do indeed... We got the Powder Cake Hunter Badge. Okay, so I don't remember if I mentioned this, I think I did. But as far as I know, the badges that we got unlocked more stuff from the, you know, the little dudes in the bird bath. What does this say about the chalice? Yeah, okay, so it does sound like we use that to get into a chalice dungeon, which again, are randomly generated, as far as I know. So it seems like the Bloodstaff Beast was entirely optional. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would've killed it either way, but so, it begs the question, where the bloody hell do we go now? But yeah, anyway. So as far as I understand about the two badges that we got, I assume this one as well is gonna be the same. I think they just mean there's more weapons and possibly other stuff that we can buy from the filler in the bird bath. So yeah, let's go back to Hunter's Dream and see if there's more shit we can actually buy. What up, sex doll? I'm back. Did you miss me? You're damn right you did. I look bowling as hell right now. And there's a lot more dudes in the bird bath than I remember. Don't know what up with that. Okay, so... The rifle spear and the stake driver. I want you both. And we can actually afford them? Okay, so it sounds like it's a gun as well as a spear. I know, it's called a rifle spear. Not really a huge revelation, but interesting nonetheless. It also does, like, bleed damage or something? Now, we're not going to buy them just yet, but it is very tempting. The reason we're not going to do it just yet is because I think, and I may be wrong, but I think, oh, we can buy them more than we can carry. How many do we need? We need four. Okay, well, let's get four then. But yes, you may remember there was that, uh, that one gate past the Odin Chapel. It says something like you need an em emblem to proceed. I think the emblem might be this thing that's like 10 grand that this dude's selling. So, I mean, we don't have 10,000 souls right now, which is really annoying. But I could go farm and get some? But yeah, I'm thinking this is it. So I guess I'm gonna go farm up some souls very quickly and then yeah. And whilst we're here, okay, we need a short ritual root chalice. Ah, okay. So yes, it does seem like we can now do a chalice dungeon because we got the uh, the holy chalice, holy chalice from the blood starved beast. Now we're not gonna do that right now because the chalice dungeons, I believe I heard, are if not the toughest part of the game, then definitely some of the toughest. 
We barely even got our hands on the bloody chalice to open the bloody thing, so yeah. Seems like a really bad idea that we do that right now, but I definitely want to do it. Just not right now. But yeah, anyway, I guess I'm gonna go farm up some more souls, or, you know, blood echoes, I guess. Get up to 10 grand, then we'll come back by that thing, and we'll see if it works on the gates. I don't know if that's where we have to go next, but if it's not, I don't know where we could have possibly missed. I think we've been pretty damn thorough so far. So yeah, anyway, give me a moment here to farm up some shits, and then we'll carry on. Okay, that fucker's dead. And yes, by that fucker, I mean the giant white dude with the flowy cape and the ginormous axe that I said was probably going to be a miniboss because of how he died. Oh, and it is indeed the emblem. Thank Christ for that. Yeah, it turns out, ain't a miniboss. He just came back. So yeah, I murdered his ass. There's a lever there. Probably don't want to pull out. I'm guessing that's just going to shut the gate. And yeah, speaking of the big dudes, there's at least one over there. Possibly two. Oh. Huh. There's a couple of dudes over here, and one of them has a Kung Lao cat. A Kung Lao cat? A Kung Lao hat on. Holy shit. And uh, a flame frog. Damn it, I was trying to backstab him. Well, he's dead anyway. Yeah, suck on that, you Kung Lao wannabe son of a bitch. And we got some bullets. It's about damn time. Hello, crow buddy. Goodbye, crow buddy. Okay, so we got some more soul consumables. And where the hell are you going? Hello, buddy. I really kind of hate these dudes. You can't seem to... Well, I guess I am stun looking him, but it seems like most of the time you don't. So they just stand there and swat you with their canes. Goddamn pimp canes. Okay, so... Oh, there's booty here. Is this a trap? No, and we got some poison knives. I guess I'll go back and check in this direction before we go down here, because I was thinking it was just going to be a quick dead end. I mean, it might still be, but it also might be where we have to go. Don't really know. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll go in the middle and take out the big fella. Like I say, I get the feeling there's going to be at least two of them, because I'm, I'm sure I saw... I'm sure I saw two, but it was kind of hard to tell, because they were behind the gates. Okay, and we got some more silk consumables. Holy shit. Okay. So... Are there two of you? There's one there. Yeah, okay. Well, shit. Pebble time. Aha! Uh -huh. That's right, buddy. You lumber over here extremely slowly. Anytime. I ain't risking going in there, man. The other dude will be the shit out of me. They are... Whoa, that's, uh, that's quite a lunge you got there. They are... Oh, God. Holy shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They are very dangerous. They hit very, very hard. I mean, if you just keep... Oh, God. If you keep behind them, they're not that bad. Also, the hammer seem to be very, very... Oh, shit. I can't see. I can't see. Now it seems to be very effective. You dick. It seems to be effective when you charge it up. Oh my god. Stop beating the shit out of me. Oh shit. Okay, it missed me. Good. Damn. Yeah, I will go freaking roadhouse on your ass. Boom, son. Yeah, okay, so charging the hammer up does a lot of damage. There we go. Okay. Give me them blood vibe. Oh, we got a blue elixir. I think that's what... Liquid medicine that makes still bodies undetectable. Ah, interesting. So maybe it means if we chug that and then we just don't move whatsoever, no one can see us. That doesn't seem that handy, but maybe it's for like, you know, some kind of obscure thing, like maybe we need that to be the boss. Maybe it's for... I, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, but... Uh... Yeah, I get the feeling there might be more to it than just, you know, not being seen by an enemy. There might be some kind of a trick that we can use it for to get something or do something of importance. Don't roll in here. Okay, let's take out this giant fella. No, 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 no. That's a very bad stylish man. What the hell? Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask that you die. Thank you. That damn time. Okay, hey, we finally got some blood vials, which we needed. Okay, so we got a madman's knowledge, and oh, there's a gate over here. Another madman's knowledge. We might have very close to enough to actually get back up 10. And the reason I say that is because... Oh, we got another one. The reason I say that is because... Did I hear something? Hello? I swear I heard a noise. But yeah, the reason I say that is because... We may have enough to actually open up the shop again. And we killed the dude on the roof, and I didn't recognize his armor. I know he wasn't a boss, like Gascoigne was. But it still seems possible to me that perhaps we might be able to buy his armor from the shop. 
Okay, yeah, I can definitely hear something roaring or something over there. Interesting, very interesting indeed. Are there any more exits around here? Don't think so. What the hell is this? Oh, that was next to the crow where we got uh, the booty on the other side of the gates. Okay, speaking of booty, I think we've got all of it around here. Let's go check in this direction. I know there was somewhere else we could go over there, but again, that's where the roaring was coming from. So maybe that's... Did you drop booty? No, that's a, a spectre. That's disappointing. But yeah, maybe... Maybe that's the way to get to the boss. And if it is, that means we probably want to go this way first. Just because, uh... It's probably optional. Ah! There's a pissed off villager around here somewhere talking about curses. And... An NPC... Oh! Two NPCs, apparently. Okay, let's just knock. Hello! Oh my, what a queer scent. But I'd take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. What is it, then? I'm off during hunt, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. Oh, you're a prostitute. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> yep, definitely a prostitute. Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Might you know the safe place? The night is long, and a very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Yeah, well, the hell not. All hoes are welcome. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> Kingy! <laughs> okay, well, let's speak to this fool. You! You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt? What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Touché. Ah, oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast stunts. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. And why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? You think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Okay, come to the chapel. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. No, oh, God damn it. What? Still praying on folks for your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. Tell me about your little safe place. <laughs> okay, let's try the clinic. Yeah, sorry. Too short. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. What? Still God praying on folks? Yeah, what? okay, whatever, whatever. Withhold. <laughs> what, afraid your lies will be exposed? Yeah, I knew you'd back off. I just knew it. Yeah, an outsider you may be, but at least you know when you're bested. <laughs> Alright, you know what, buddy? Fuck you. You can just stay in there and die. What a miserable dick. Yeah, I freaking heard you talking to yourself, you freak. Okay, is he dead? He's, he is good. I like that. I hear something. I think it's coming from on the left? I guess not that door. Hello? Oh, shit. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was a very ominous sight. Just like a werewolf man very slowly lumbering out of the uh, the mist. Yeah, you're about to be a very dead werewolf man slowly slumbering out of the, the mist. Almost said the abyss. Whatever the bloody hell I said, I remember now. Okay, you're dead. And you stop firing that gun at me, you son of a bitch. So it's a bit weird that, like... Regular dudes are just mingling with the uh, the werewolf man. I thought that was like the whole point of the beast thing, like that they fear beasts and they think I am one or I'm gonna become one. So you would think like it's someone that's clearly a beast, they would attack it. But no, apparently not. What the hell is this? Hey, I've got a black church set. I like that. We can maybe dress up as a priest. And then we can, you know, absolve people of their sins and stuff. Even though we're not qualified, but... Who 
Oh, yes. I'm not sure I'm down with the gloves, but yeah, you know what? I'll take it. Oh, we have another NPC. Oh, two of them. Well, I guess we'll talk to them now. deepest gratitude for the church and all they do for us the deepest widest gratitude yes was that another sexual euphemism <laughs> well all right then what a freak what an absolute freak where the hell is that bang come from Oh, I think it's here, maybe? Stop the banging! <laughs> Praise you! Is someone shooting at me? Praise the old damn church! And then the best of our cunts in! Oh! Like a there you are! Hey! <laughs> 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 alright, alright, shut up, fat boy Slim! I need to praise you like I should. Am I the only one that when I was a kid, and you know, again, I'm like 28 now, but I was pretty young when that song came out. I thought, and I'm not shitting you, that it was praise you like a shoe. Not praise you like I should. I thought it was about like praising someone like a fucking shoe. Didn't make any sense to me. Ow! Dick! Why are these missing? Are they hitting the, are they hitting the railing? What? Every single one of those hit the same freaking railing. Maybe there's just an invisible wall there, but it looked like they all hit the same bloody piece of railing. I don't know, but this uh, this gunman is pissing me off. Okay, no one to ambush me around the corner. I am surprised by this. Okay, oh, uh, shit. Yeah. There's, there's gonna be a bunch. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of them. Yeah, I can tell the second that freaking pitchfork guy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The second the pitchfork guy ran around the corner, I knew he was not gonna be alone. He had far too much confidence. Far, far too much confidence. Oh, shit. Okay, werewolf man, you are pissing me off. Come here, you. I like you. Yeah? I like you even better now that you're dead. Okay, we got some more blood vials. Oh, that's another freaking spectre. People need to stop dying everywhere. It's kind of inconvenient. There we go. Okay, are we safe? Is it secret? Is it safe? Oh, there's dudes up there. More blood vials. I like that. And let's go grab this booty over here. Got some more uh, soul consumables. Okay, I see the doorway over there, and there's a ladder. Very interesting indeed. Did I miss anything? I guess not. So how do I get to the two dudes up there? I mean, maybe we take the ladder? I don't know. What's up, crow buddy? I wonder if I can wall bang you uh, through the fence here. Jump attack. Yes. Yes, I can. It's like one of those... Uh, one of those rag head ghoul thingies? I don't know. You look silly and I'm killing you. And I like this. Is he dead now? Yes, he is. Perfect. So, we, oh, there's booty up there. Okay, so I guess the ladder must take us there. What's the point of this? I think it's secrets. Again, I still don't know if there are illusory wars in this. I feel like there might not be. Just because, A, we haven't seen one yet. B, no one's mentioned one to me. I mean, I've put out enough parts by now that I feel like if there were a loser war, someone would have said something. No one has, so I'm just going to assume there aren't. And I guess the loot from the enemies I just killed is below me. Maybe we can drop down onto it. Don't really know. Don't know what's up with this weird square in the ground as well. I'm not seeing any way we can drop off there. Hello? How do I... Oh, we can drop off here. Onto a balcony, but this is not where they were. So, I don't know, maybe we can double back or something? I feel like I'm going further away. I have no idea. Oh, we're on, uh, we're on roofs now. This is kind of cool. Got some more bullets and there's some booty down there as well. And a couple of dudes patrolling. Up to no good, making trouble in my neighborhood. I think around the other side of the chimney. These are old-fashioned chimneys that we have in England. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Okay. I, oh, I thought I heard something breathing heavy. You pervert dog. Well, I guess I'm gonna end it here. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how long I've been recording, because I'm gonna have to cut out, like, a lot of shit. Hopefully it's gonna be long enough for a video we'll freaking see. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it. Like, and I will see you next time for more Bloodborne.